What's going on my YouTube friends? It's your boy Avionics back with another action figure video. First of all, let me apologize if I sneeze or have the sniffles because it is allergy season for me. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I do put out quite a few content throughout the month. In today's video, I will be going over the early Holothon haul I came across today, Thursday, March 17th, when tomorrow it's supposed to drop at every target, but the tar one of the two targets around me decided to put it out about two, three hours ago when I was there early this morning and they had nothing. So I asked the target employee and they said the NECA vendor comes to create the end cap that everyone sees online on social media on how it's all set up. So first I'm gonna show you everything that I came home with. I bought two of these Super Bebop and Mighty Rock Steadies, one for me, one for a friend. They only had one more of these four packs remaining, but I'm not interested in this four pack because to me it's just an overpriced repaint with um, accessories or with the lack of accessories compared to the Turtles in Disguise pack that I already have that's $25 cheaper and comes with more stuff. So this one's actually going to my friend who is a completionist and um, he actually, he's the one that actually told me or gave me the intel, intel that this particular target had just restocked because uh, someone in one of our, in one of his Facebook groups posted pictures and a post uh, saying that they're up there. And then his, his other buddy actually hid this one um, where the Ryan World stuff was. I, I was able to find it. So I went ahead and bought it for my buddy. I also picked up this Rat King vs. Vernon 2 pack. I've been needing this one to add to my NECA TMNT tune collection and I'm I'm actually really happy that they decided to re reissue these. They actually had like eight of these out on the shelf. They only had two of the Super Bebop Mighty Rock Steadies, so that was perfect. One for me, one for my one my friend. This one was also on my Holothon list. This is the, uh, the Evil Dead Ultimate Ash from the very first Evil Dead movie. And there he is in the window. There's one more thing that I'm looking for and it is actually the uh, NECA Back to the Future Griff Tannen. So I'm pretty sure I'll find one either online at the Target website or um, tonight my friend uh, who I got this stuff for is gonna be looking at another Target. So hopefully he finds me that. That's all I needed out of this holothon was Super, actually I didn't really want Super Bebop and Mighty, Mighty Rocksteady, Ultimate Evil Dead Ash and NECA Griff Tannen were my only two on my radar, but seeing this in person, I needed to get it. And then Rat King, I didn't think um, NECA was gonna reissue those, so I'm glad they did, so I went ahead and picked that up too. So this video is mainly an unboxing and review of the NECA TMNT Tune Super Bebop and Mighty Rock Steady. So here they are in they are their window display out of the cardboard box. Around the side, we have Super Bebop art, or not art, but um, a pose right there. On this side, we have Mighty Rock Steady in his pose. On the bottom, we have a barcode, and I will have a DPCI in the video description below. Here on the back, it also has a stuck Immunogen Man pizza. Um, I'm not interested in those. Pizza Monster, I have um, one of those and another one on the way for my friend who, who has an extra. And then Antrax and Scumbug, I'm not interested in them. And then here, just the, the same um, description that you see on other NECA TMNT um, action figure boxes. So let's go ahead and break these chunky metalheads. See what I did there, metalhead. Out of their plastic prison and let's check them all out. For those of you that are interested in seeing what kind of cardboard insert, it is a picture of the Technodrome in the Earth's core. All right, so we have everything all out of the box. First, let's go ahead and take a look at all the different hands. So the figures come outfitted right out of the packaging with fists, a right fist and a left fist. And um, note, all the hands are all the same design and sculpt. So either hand can go on each or, or, or on any of them. So there's a total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six pairs of hands. And they're all the same really. So his other, their other right hand is this gripping right hand. And then um, just like primarily their primary paint, it's that light gray color with uh, I guess like white knuckles outlined in black. 
So that's how that looks. Even the inside of the thumb is painted with that tune line black. And then they both have a at rest right hand pose. And then, um, so it looks like they swivel um, horizontally. So that one is, and that one also swivels horizontally. This one looks a little chewed up right there. And then um, they have an at rest pose left hand. Oh, what is that? It's, it's a QC issue right there. I can probably just chip that off. I mean, it's not, you're not gonna see the inside really if I have them displayed, but yeah. And then they both come with another uh, left gripping hand. And yeah, they all swivel horizontally. It'd be nice if their uh, gun or trigger grip would actually um, articulate vertically to have that, you know, that aim. But uh, so those are the hands. Let's take a look at the fists real quick. All right. So starting all the way on the left, we have, okay, so you guys are gonna have to help me out with this one. Not sure what this is exactly, but um, I thought maybe it was like some kind of small little backpack, but no, it's not. So it's um, some kind of electronic device. I think they, they hold this in their hand. If anyone knows what this is, please let me know down in the comment section below and let us all know. So the back side is painted gray and then the front side is like a very light lavender paint and it looks like it has like a, a meter and we have a, like a rotary dial here and um, some buttons. But yeah, this is a nice little electronic sculpt of whatever this device is. Moving on, we have what looks to be a time bomb so it's a darker gray color of the bomb and then uh, this little gasket section is like a kind of a brownish gray and then if you look at the sculpt it's got these little half circles and then the wires the wires look really nice if you can take a look at the sculpt coming out of the top and then it kind of drapes down into the little clock which is a nice sculpt got the red minute and uh our hand perhaps no second hand and then we have so this is supposed to be bebop's weapon a parking meter that's ripped out of the street so taking a look at the bottom it has that dirt sculpt which looks really nice kind of looks like poop but whatever you know it's it's coming out of the ground and then if you look at the top side of that it's got cracks which just looks really nice and then it has some marks that looks like they're purposely there on the pole and then the meter looks pretty cool. So this is also the same color, light gray as, as the figures and then it has whatever this is and then the little timer clock right there. It looks like it's shattered, uh, like this was the glass. So this is Bebop's weapon. And then we have two new uh, gun sculpts, gun blaster sculpts that's packaged on the side where Rocksteady's sitting in the box. So here's this one. Looks like some kind of SMG drill blaster. Primarily that light gray with this right here, this sprocket, whatever is white, and then the black tune lines. It's a pretty cool little SMG with the sight right here. And then this is also a new assault rifle sculpt, which actually looks really cool because it's got a scope on it. And this is a darker gray. It has a stock. It's got a, a long mag, and uh, this the what's this part called? The muzzle, or barrel, something like that. And then we have this, and then uh, the front iron sight with the scope. Great look. This is just an awesome looking assault rifle for mighty Rocksteady. All right, now let's take a look at the figures, shall we? Bebop. Oh yeah, these chunky metal super Bebop. Let's take a look at his head sculpt. So he has the white glasses instead of what? The uh, purple ones on the original NECA Bebop. And then we have a, uh, a white nose ring. And then so you see the two shades that he is. The back half is a darker tone. 
um, where the shading is, and then the front has the lighter colors, and then he has the white mohawk, and it looks like some kind of arrowhead or spearhead um, in the back. And if you take a look at his ears, they, they kind of fold over all machine-like, and he's got these like little like vent, vent lines right there. And then going down to his shoulder armor, he has the, the shell, um, but this one has the gun, like they look like guns coming out. And then going down, we have his, his famous red vest that he's always wearing. He's got this uh, some kind of tactical um, strap that's going in between it. And then he has these uh, dark gray rivet with rivets, like a shoulder collar right there. And then a closer look at his arms. But anyways, here we have this uh, white belt buckle with look, looks like a play button, probably some buttons. And then his legs, his robotic metal legs, those are, that's the sculpt. And then his red Chuck Taylors, they made it, you know, just like uh, into the robotic form. Kind of looks like toes though. So they're like Chuck Taylor toes, Chuck Taylor uh, feet in the backside. Not much going on there, but it does have some detail right here. And then the bottom of his vest have these notches cut out. And then, all right, let's take a look at articulation of Super Bebop. So the one uh, major articulation point that I like is his articulating jaw, which is really cool. And you can see that they sculpted out a, a metal tongue in there. So that's really neat. His head is going to go all the way around. His, this... His ponytail is kind of hitting, so it would go all the way around, but I'm not going to force it. And that's as far as his head can go up, down, a little bit. Yeah, he's got some head tilt going on. All right, shoulders. So that seems like as far as they will go up laterally. Oh, that just popped off, but it pegs. All right, so lesson learned. These can just be removed right off. That's pretty cool, and they just peg in right there all right let's go ahead and take those off for the articulation uh portion of this video this side seems to be in pretty pretty good i'll just continue right where i'm at it's not broken by any means it's just gonna peg right in oh there we go so i'll take it off but it's, he is going to be able to go all the way around if you have that um shoulder pad off and then we do have a bicep cut for bicep swivel. So his arms can go up a little bit more up laterally without the shoulder pad. And then we do have double jointed elbows right there. There he goes, flexing his left arm. And then we have rotation at the wrist and these f close fists do have the same horizontal swivel. All right, so everything should be the same down the right side. And then he, he does have a mid torso cut for an ab crunch, back crunch, but he doesn't really, he can't really crunch that much, but if there is movement, it's just because of the vest. And then we do have full rotation at the waist. Actually, yeah, the weight. So it, it rotates at the waist and it rotates at that mid torso cut. Legs. That's as far as they go up. This part of his leg is hitting his waist area. And then it is a, uh, it looks like a ball joint there. So we do have also a little bit of some thigh swivel. Yeah, there we go. And then we have double jointed knees. And they are pins with uh, visible on the outside. And then we have ankle pivot and then we have swivel all the way around and they also have peg holes at the bottom all right let's take a look at rock steady here let's see if i can get this shoulder pad back on all right so here is the mighty rock steady and his mighty head sculpt yeah so he is also going to have an articulating mouth as well now Rocksteady's mouth opens up a lot bigger than, or has more range of motion compared to Super Bebop's, but that's okay for Super Bebop. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. And then um, he, his eyes are white 
and his like just like bebop super bebop all like a light gray in the front and darker tones in the back and then if you take a closer look at his ears they sculpted that pretty nicely as well and then he has this white like armor artillery blasters going around his shoulders and his collar with um, details of the black triangles and paint and then uh, so it looks like it's going down his sides and then he has his um, the same color tank top that he always wears for his chest and his abdomen section and then he has what looks to be a uh, looks like a uh, car stereo installed on his belly now I'm not sure if it's supposed to be off-center like that I don't know if anyone else has this set let me know if the car the the tummy car stereo on mighty rocksteady is like this or if yours is centered but uh no big deal really but my ocd wants it to be center but yeah so he has a little bit different sculpt on the arms and paint compared to super bebop as you can see um some parts are just painted white and then a different sculpt for the forearm same hands as we mentioned oh Bebop's shoulder pad keeps coming off. Taking a look at Rocksteady's belt, it's a dark gray. It's got a, a nice sculpt in the middle with some lines going on. Nothing uh, really much going on in the back, has some paint lines of his back muscles. And then pretty much the same leg sculpt as Super Bebop, just uh, the shins or the knees going down. It's that darker gray. And then he does have a different foot sculpt going on. So those are supposed to be like the his his uh, rhino toes, but in robot mechanical form. So um, articulation should be pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and close up his mouth. So his head is going to be able to rotate all the way around. Um, he does have a little bit of tilt, I guess you'd say. Looking all the way up, down, not so much all either, and then his. I'm worried about moving his shoulders upwards in the lateral position because this sculptor right here, I feel like might break off. But I wouldn't bend it that far up because as you can see, it's going to hit this. It will rotate all the way around before it hits that white um, piece. And then we have the same bicep cut and the same uh, double jointed elbows. And then on this side of his forearm, his left forearm, he does have a blaster, which is really cool. So it does not come off, it is attached. But um, yeah, check out the sculpt on that. Nothing on the outside, but it does have some paint and sculpt lines on the inside. And then same hand rotation right there. And then we have a, uh, since he's not wearing any armor, like, or like a vest, like Super Bebop, he does, he can move freely more in this area, but no back crunch or forward crunch and then he does also rotate at the hip all the way around and then he's gonna have this by the looks of it he's gonna have the same leg articulation as super bebop all right so here is a side-by-side -side comparison of super bebop with regular bebop there is their front view side view and their back view he's still a little bit wet from me uh, warming up his hands in the hot water. And then here is Mighty Rocksteady with regular Rocksteady. There's the front view, side view, and the rear view. And here they are with Shredder and Ultimate Foot Soldier. And then there they are with Android Krang and Bubble Krang. And then here they are with the Toidles. All right, so my final word on NECA's TMNT Tune Super Bebop and Mighty Rock Steady. My only two issues that I have is that uh, Super Bebop's left shoulder pad fell off and it's supposed to just peg right in, but it has a hard time staying pegged in. And then trying to switch out uh, Mighty Rock Steady's left hand um, it's kind of a little bit of a challenge because that attached forearm blaster is in the way, but you can still easily put his hand in there. So not a big deal, but it is kind of in the way. But other than that, these two are a must-have to add to your 
NECA TMNT Tune Collection. I think these are going to be more rare to find than the regular Bebop and Rocksteady. So if you guys have the luck to find them during the Holothon event with Target, I hope you guys do find them. Their accessories look great. The time bomb and whatever electronic device that is. Once again, if you guys know what that is, please let me know down in the comment section below. The two different gun sculpts are pretty cool. And Bebop's parking meter weapon is really cool too. So if you guys enjoyed watching the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Leave all your comments and thoughts down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of future content like this. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.